What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with the cards with the best releases in NBA 2K19, my team. So we have got, I'm trying to think how many base 11 players we have. We have got five base 11 players by the looks of it. And I didn't want to just make this a whole base 11 team. Because to be honest, I think apart from these five, there's no other real base 11 players that have better released than other guys in the team. Because if you guys don't know, actually this guy should be one of the ones at the end of the bench. If you guys don't know, there's certain base 11 players that obviously have significantly better releases than other base 11 players. For example, Gilbert Arenas, in my opinion, like, just in purely, like, off dribble shots, just shooting-wise, has got the best, without doubt, of all the base 11 players. Although he doesn't quite have the leaner of a lot of really good players. And actually, considering the fact that leaner is such an important thing, I forgot to put this guy into the squad. John Wall, I'm sorry for taking you out of the squad. John Wall, unbelievable release. Absolutely money, but Hito Turkoglu is coming in and probably replacing Paul George. So we've got Gilbert Arenas, who obviously can shoot the lights out from jump shots, doesn't have the best leaner. Kurlenko has got probably the smoothest base 11 leaner, except for since Kurlenko has gone. A really, really good shooter, really easy release to time. Gugliata has the easiest to time base 11 release, in my opinion. Really nice shooter. Um, not too inconsistent, like the likes of Danny Granger. Kiki Vandewey is inconsistent. Kiki Vandewey is really good. So there are base 11 players we don't have, but it's mainly due to consistency for consistency reasons. Kristaps Porzingis, when he's open, in my opinion, the single best release in the game. Porzingis barely misses when he's open, especially this 98 overall one that for some reason they gave limitless range to. And not even that, like, that's forgivable, but 92 strength for Porzingis is just crazy. Also has got a three point rating of 96. So yeah, with most coaches that goes up to 99. David Robinson at center. David Robinson has got basically the same release as Rafe LaFrance. Lefty, really nice shooter, uh, really easy to time. And for centers, one of the best in the game. Like if you're looking at centers, Yao Ming is definitely up there. Moses Malone might actually have a really nice release. I'm not going to n take him completely out of it, but I do prefer David Robinson's. Um, Hakeem has a nice release when he's wide open. Cowan's obviously a base 11 shooter. Um, Carl Anthony Towns, decent release. Sabone's decent release. Like, centers are really good. Like, the fact Boogie's not on this list is crazy on this team. But, like, there's so many. You scroll down to the Diamonds. Miles Turner's release is cash as well. Obviously, the other, um, David Robinson. Roy Hibbert has a great release. You know, Gauss has a great release. There's so many cards. It's There's no point using a card with a bad release in the game this year. Because there's so many great cards to go to releases. At the point you got off the bench, you got Hito Turkoglu. Releases money. I'm pretty sure he's got Kyrie base. And also has got the cheesiest leaner in the game. As well as being a great shooter with limitless range. Bob Pettit at the three. Bob Pettit is another base 11 shooter. Limitless range. And I don't shoot too much off the dribble with him. Don't shoot too many leaners. But the fact is he can literally just pull from anywhere. And it's he's harder to contest with base 11. James Worthy is a base 11 shooter. When he's open, he doesn't miss at all. He's again, him and Arena is probably two best in just pure catch and shoot situations, or maybe Gugliata. Derek Coleman, more so just kind of for nostalgia reasons. In my opinion, he had the best release in the game when the game first came out for the first couple of days before anyone got any of the really expensive cards. And lefty shooter, really easy to time, uh, really fluid shot, and just an incredible release. You're probably gonna see in the game. And Kareem, Kareem's three point shot, while he isn't green to the extent of a lot of other players, his three point shot is only 79, but it feels like it's a 99. He barely misses. He shoots as well as any center, and it's because of the release. Glenn Rice, the card I just picked up, again, a little bit like um, Derek Coleman. It's a really fluid release, a really easy release to time. And while it's not the fastest release in the world, it's a great, great release. And when he's open, he's cash, as well as the fact he has like all the shooting badges. Kevin Garnett, they just sped up his release, and it's just cash. Two motion shot and really quick really easy to time and paul george is paul george released it's been the same for years it's been one of the best in the game so anyway yeah that is the squad this is the squad i'm using for this game in my opinion these guys have the best releases in nba 2k19 my team obviously this is just my opinion and a lot of you guys are going to disagree so leave in the comments who you guys think um i should have used in the squad instead of these guys and if you guys think i went a little bit overboard with uh two three four five base 11 players but anyway now let's get on to the game Okay, so we are playing against Limited LeBron, Simmons, Malone, KG, and Yao. Alright, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, he's literally just pausing every single time the ball just goes out of play. I he's used the ball to pause his bar one. As you guys can see, he's just not guiding Karolenko here. Green. 
Obviously, Karolanko has got that release anyway. As you guys can see, pausing. Then I got called for five seconds. Or, yeah, pause again. One pause away from losing this game. Wide open, go over to Arenas, knocks it down, and maybe get the win. Hopefully, we can find another game quick enough. Okay, so we're playing against oh, a good team. Not an exceptional team, but a good team. Still 98 overalls, not that different, 99 overalls, so should be a good game. Porzingis is wide open for three, full white, knocks it down. Let's go. Steal. Porzingis, stop. That is a dumb shot right there. Go board, go over to Arenas. Let's go. Okay, he's left him open. For two, knocks it down. Ball up. Good shot, Karolinko. Green. I right, made a good start to this game. Not shooting the best percentage, but we're defending well with this team. There you go. He's not missing two in a row. He greens the second one. Let's go. Up 10-2. And this team is so nice. Like, shooting-wise, they're good. Defensive-wise. It's crazy. The 2K basically gave every, like, really cheesy player an upgrade. I'm trying to think. Was there any... Like, ultra-cheesy players, like, even the cheesy Emerald Rubies from the start of the year. Bingo Smith, maybe, is the only one that didn't get an upgrade. And they were never really going to upgrade Bingo Smith, were they? That's a dumb shot. Good board. Someone runs up 3.9. Maybe out of for two. Knocks it down. Like, it's actually crazy. Like, Kurlenko's the cheesiest player at the start of the game. They gave him an upgrade. They gave Bob Pettit an Opal with limitless range. They gave Porzingis a car with limitless range. They gave David Robinson a 94 three-point shot. Like, it's absolutely crazy what 2K have done to the cheesy players. They even upgraded Derek Coleman, who was like Cheesy Day 1, and Gerald Wallace. So it's like every single cheesy player has gotten some sort of an upgrade. Except for Dragon Bender and Jana Musa. Dragon Bender should have definitely got one for the uh, moments card for the last couple of weeks of the season. In garbage time, he balled out. Same with Grayson Allen. But, uh... Yeah, they're probably the two, like, ultra-cheesy players that never got upgrades. Steal. Not guarding it from there. That's Limitless. That's Bob Pettit, and that's good. One more to Pettit. Green. Come on, you can't leave a base 11 player that wide open. Kareem wide open for three. He hits it. Let's go. Like, Kareem's three-pointer is so nice. Like, I don't understand how a 79 rating can be so good. Okay, so let's hit Pettit. Okay, no, Glenn Rice, wide open for two. Knocks it down. Stop. For three. Glenn Rice hits another shot. Let's go. Let's come right on and score five points. We have not yet scored a shot in this third quarter. Burn by, wide open to corner three. Gugliata hits one. Let's go. I know I definitely said, you guys think it's out of sync because I said hits it, but... When you play this game long enough, you know that when the ball bounces around the ring like that, it's going in. Three ball, full white. Gugliata knocks it down. He's now got 14 points. Let's go, let's push it. Hit Karolenko. Stop. Three, bad release. But he hits it anyway. Green. Nice midi. Gugliata's now got to take over. No sharp. What coach? I must be using a different coach on this squad. Because he normally gets sharp takeover. He normally gets sharp... Uh, no, he doesn't get slasher. He normally gets sharp glass cleaner. David Robinson. Green. Let's go. David Robinson should not be able to shoot from that deep. This guy's just started completely just running me off the three-point line now, which is a bit annoying. Smart, because that's all I've literally done this entire game, but... Annoying because it's going to show my three-point percentage way down with some of the best shooters in the game. Good shot, Hito. Let's go. Ball up, Hito. Unlucky. Wide open, pad it for three. It's another one. Let's go. Okay, Hito special. Running down the wing. Ball up, green. And like his moving three point shot, he should better moving than just standing. Dude's out here, pause, cheese me down 31 points with 30 seconds to go. Leaner, in the corner. Bang! This dude had the chance, lost the chance for sportsmanship when he uh, shot that, um, when he paused, cheesed, and took a shot just a couple seconds ago. So Hito goes into Leaner in Curry's face. We turned the ball over a hell of a lot in this game, to be honest, with everybody. So he was just trying to force so much into shooting threes. 
But um, Hino Turkoglu had 14, David Robinson at 6, Karolenko had 5, Kareem at 5, Glenn Rice at 5, Gilbert Arenas at 4, Chris Tapps had 3, Coleman at 3, Wordy at 2, Paul George and KG didn't score. So anyway, that's the video. In my opinion, this is a team of the players with the best releases in NBA 2K19, my team. You guys saw when they were open, they were hitting shots. Like, with Hito, I was just shooting dumb fadeaways the whole game. They're still going in. But these guys, this team is as OP as, I think, do I have the other lineup I had anywhere? Um, is this it? Yeah, so this was like the squad I used. Oh, this squad breaks NBA 2K19, my team. This team's not that much worse. This team is not that much worse, to be honest. All got decent ball control. And if they are abusing Gilbert Arenas, just put in Paul George a point guard. But yeah, this team is absolutely incredible in-game. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.